Hey guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna discuss about Scarlet, the queen of the bleeds. <laughs> I'm gonna show you where to use it or what's the best, best place to use it, basically, and why I like her so much. Now, before we jump into the video, guys, as always, make sure to scroll down, click that follow button, join my Discord and follow me on Twitch. All the links are in the description. Uh, obviously, again, <laughs> I'm still abroad. Sorry for the mic, guys. I know I sound like shit. Uh, I, I edit the, the video, so obviously I can hear myself. And I don't know, I just hate that voice. It's like a virgin that just went to a Disneyland or something. Anyway, <laughs> let's jump into the video, guys. So let's first of all check what is Scarlet. I mean, what is Scarlet? <laughs> what are her spells? So her ascension, second ascension is amazing. Uh, the first ascension is basically that she's gonna get a wolf at the beginning of the of the battle and the wolf deals 30 damage to the target with a 50 percent chance to apply bleeding for two turns it's basically a pet now the second ascension though is just huge because it makes that all uh, all enemies take 50 percent more damage from bleeding and that's why scarlet is the bleeding queen basically it's like a gangelo for poison but for the bleed uh how basically it works as well first of all she starts the battle with the wolf that's all good now whenever she attacks uh, she will put a blitz with her s1 as well and basically how this works and why is she so amazing besides the buff of the damage from the bleeds is her passive so basically whenever someone attacks uh, anyone who has a bleed on him the wolf will make basically a joint attack on that target and he will obviously also uh, apply uh, a 50% bleed. Uh, I mean, there's a 50% chance to apply bleed. So basically, why is she so great and why Jacob is amazing combined with her or even Hector is basically that they're gonna attack a lot of times. And every single time they're gonna attack the target, the wolf will also attack the target and potentially add a bleed to the target. Now, obviously, again, we're gonna go through Tulpa, Guild Boss, everything, everything, and we're gonna showcase her. But we know that Scarlet, at the current, at the current state of the game, the bleeds are no, are not like huge, amazingly amazing buffs, uh, but they they are really, really good against the Guild Boss, especially in, with teams when you can attack like I don't know 10, 20 times within one round, right? And you're just gonna apply like 10 or 20 bleeds, and at the end of the turn you're gonna do like I don't know 20, 30k damage, which is really, really huge. Uh, just to finish her ultimate is basically she's gonna just jump uh, on the target, uh, attack it three or four times, and every time has a basically a chance to apply a bleed you have up to three bleeds you can apply up to three bleeds also uh, how the wolf works is whenever the wolf the pet is on the battlefield and scarlet is about to take little damage direct little damage the wolf basically die instead of her and the ultimate has also the possibility to summon a wolf if the wolf died in the previous rounds. So this is also basically a good addition to her survivability. Uh, why I really like it as well is basically at the very, I don't know, around 25, 26 on the guild boss, when he gonna do that attack to kill everyone, uh, and he has like 20, 10 or 20 stacks of bleed, everyone gonna die, but she gonna survive. Then you can follow, follow up with the ultimate, put back the wolf, and you get like two extra turns with the bleeds on the boss, which is really, really good. So obviously since, since everything is about the bleeds, right? Uh, the bleeds basically is uh, the damage that is dealt from the bleeds is based on the caster's attack. So obviously we want the most attack you can possibly want, but you don't want to neglect her crit. She's gonna still do damage, the wolf will still jump and do also damage. So you want, I would really recommend to still put 100 crit on her. And obviously you want 100% focus, right? Uh, there is only a 50% chance to place a bleed with the wolf and we don't want anyone to get resisted. So the focus is also very important. The most important stats are attack focus and then you're just gonna try to put the crit right there. So let's just go on the guild boss and I'm just gonna show you her damage. Uh, I mean, I can already show you like right now. 
my max damage that I did on the guild boss. Ba -ba -ba -bam. It's with Scarlet. Scarlet just does an insane damage, especially combined with Jacob and Hector. They're all just amazing together. Then you can put like a Evelyn or a Yolanda now as well, or any hero that just grants you bonus attacks. It's all about just attacking all the time or to just put more and more bleeds. Obviously your score will depend mostly on how many bleeds you were able to put. Uh, as you know, you have a 50% chance only to put a bleed, but yeah, it's, it's really, it's really huge. Other teams obviously use like Garl, Aurak, stuff like that. Uh, but personally, so far, the best results I saw were with Scarlet. I know there are some teams out there that use Zetlin, Aurak, and stuff like that. Me, personally, I was, uh, so far, the best stats I ever had was with Scarlet. Now, again, I am farming Queen, and I am missing some curse sets. But obviously, the, the results or the damage you can see will be way higher with the curse set. And I just don't have good curse set yet. But yeah, let's jump into the battle. Let's start uh, with the guild boss and let's just see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to start the fight and I just want to show you, explain exactly how the Scarlet war works with her wolf. And I hope you enjoyed the video. The Wi-Fi is shit here. Uh, everything fucking hurts. I'm sitting on the floor in a fucking cave. Doesn't matter. There you go. So yeah, the ultimate, first of all, we are very lucky. We did put three bleeds. That's amazing. And now from the moment the boss has a bleed, we're going to basically attack, obviously. But every time we're going to attack, as you can see, the wolf will make a joint attack. And every time he makes a joint attack, we have a chance to put an additional bleed. Hence why every, that's why it's really important to have heroes that can potentially make additional run the turns within uh, one round. Uh, now, Garel would also be amazing, I guess. I just don't know. No, I, it's not I don't know. I'm pretty sure the curse set does not uh, trigger the wolf's attack. But as you can see, we are at the almost at the end of the first round. Or second, third round. Oh my god, okay. And we just keep going. We just keep going with everyone and everything. And we just keep applying those bleeds. And I will show you the true damage of it at the very end. Now my Hector, 24k, he's a beast. And again, bleed, bleed after bleed, bleed after bleed. That's that's basically how you do it. And another bleed. And now the boss gonna attack. Bear in mind, he has already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 bleeds, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, feel free, please, to make an Excel sheet just to calculate it correctly. And now let's see the damage from all the bleeds. Yeah, we have like 700 per tick. So that was like uh, 8, 8, 9k just from the bleeds. And this is obviously every single turn. And we're going to apply more and more bleeds as we go on, right? So it's just really powerful. Now, obviously, everything depends on how many bleeds you put. There's a 50-50% chance to apply a bleed with the wolf. Uh, but yeah, I mean... Thanks to Jacob, it's it's just insane. Hector as well, those three attacks that are just huge. As you can see, out of four attacks, I only had one bleed. So again, it's really gonna depend a lot based on your luck. There's another bleed. And yeah, we are turn four, we are already at 240k. So yeah, I'm telling you, personally, I just love her. So. I mean, that's that's how you're going to basically do it. Just going to hit with everyone. Try to survive the longest you can. Uh, again, let's go. Let's go with Hector. Boom. Another one. Another bleed. Another bleed. Okay, let's see how many bleeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, right? Yeah, I think 12, something like that. So yeah, as you can see, the, the damage is just insane. Uh, let me go to the very end, and I will just show you the results of this fight. So let me just show you the result. Uh, the score, I wasn't really lucky, and I wasn't like properly try-harding it. 
but I just wanted to show you the damage of Scarlet. Like, you need to understand that she not only does the damage of the bleed, she also does damage from her own attacks and her ultimate does quite a lot of damage. And then every time the wolf attacks, it also counts on her damage. And so far, his attacks, it stops, starts at like 1.2k, 1, 1. goes up to 2k. So her damage over time is really, really big and really, really considerable. So again, Scarlet for me is just the queen for the guild boss. Her damage is just insane and amazing. Uh, but yeah, obviously, let's go try her out also in Tulpa and in the arena. As you can see, we're gonna use the uh, usual comp. We're gonna start with Zetlin, Valeria, gonna clean everything, and we're just gonna see uh, if this can work with Tulpa. Obviously, yes. <laughs> Anything you just throw in with Orac and uh, Valeria to works on Tulpa. So, boom, he applies this, then goes Valeria. Now, the problem since she doesn't go first, she only gonna apply the bleed now. So yes, we're gonna do the damage from now on every time someone hits her. I mean... <laughs> the wolf got killed! I didn't fucking know it's possible! What? Is this for real? The wolf got fucking killed! The wolf got fucking killed! Hold my beer! Fucking hold my beer! The poison, yeah, yeah. The problem is the poison takes at the end of the turn, so whatever damage it does, it will still be, it won't count into the into the overall total damage whatsoever. So yeah, I don't think yeah, Scarlet is not a Z mob for Tulpa for sure. Uh, I didn't know the wolf can die like that. That was so fucking lame. <laughs> Okay, let's go into the arena now. Okay, so we're gonna jump quickly into the arena and see just if uh, she's any good in there. Honestly, I don't think so. I really doubt she will be like an, a good addition. Oh, great, and they resist. Nice. Anyway, we're gonna go for this Mitasia with our Vans. Deflect. That's, by the way, that's, I think, top one of my realm. So yeah, let's just see if there is, I mean the damage is what it is, obviously, ah, and she got taunted, okay, 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 that's great, let's steal everything from her, I mean, no, I just, <laughs> oh, and, and the wolf attacks, okay, and she got white? Oh, so the wolf, okay, there you go. So the instead of her dying, the wolf died instead, which is really cool. Uh, but I mean, yeah, that's that's it. She is going to die really soon. <laughs> uh, okay, this guy is just insane. Can you stop raping me like that? And deflecting everything. <laughs> okay, this guy is huge. Okay, his gear is proper. Like, what's the HP? 22, 22. Okay, so he's basically into full resist, full agility, rather than anything else. Okay, cool. Cool. But, yeah, I mean, she won't do the damage. Like, yes, she's gonna play the bleeds, but without that Godfrey, they're just gonna be cleansed by everyone. So I really don't see her having a place in the arena. I think it's just a waste of space rather than anything else. Uh, I will not try Void Tower, guys. I really not recommend her for the Void Tower either. It's, again, it, we are not fighting over the time. So you won't have that much time to put so many bleeds over the time. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's really just not worth it. I think Scarlet is basically just a fun hero to build for your guild boss. And that's it. If you have really nothing else to build, if you have a lot of resources, go ahead uh, and just build Scarlet. Like I said, me personally so far, the best result I ever ha have had was Scarlet, Jacob and Hector. Uh, sometimes Evelyn, sometimes Brandt, it varies. But so far, yeah, Scarlet, amazing queen for the guild boss. Same for Earth or the fire one. 
and most probably I'm gonna try to build a only bleed team with Scarlet, uh, Molhar, Molhag, Molgar, or something like that. There are a few heroes that would also bleed. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna play around it. But overall, guys, yeah, that's the review of Scarlet. If you have time, if you have resources that you can just waste, go into Scarlet, build her. She's gonna be a fine addition to your guild boss. Other than that, she's not worth it. Uh, you can put whatever you have for Tulpa. And there are, again, there's just Thomas, Thomas, Orak, Hector, Valeria, uh, as, even as Serena would be, I guess, uh, maybe not better. But anyway, uh, yeah, guys, that's a quick review of the hero. I just wanted to show you why I love her so much and why you should not build her if you are a new player or if you don't have a lot of, a lot of resources. There's obviously way better than her to build. But if you want to have some fun in this game, Definitely you can test her out and have some fun at the guild boss. So yeah guys, that's it for me. I will see you in the next video, in the next review. Let me put in your in the comments what do you think? Do you think is there is like a specific place for her that I have my have missed? But uh, besides that, the bleeds are not that strong to be considered as a build on its own, like for example a poison team. Uh, so yeah, it's just for queen. Uh, just it's just for the guild boss. Okay guys, uh, see you. Lolo. <laughs>